Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Learn with Sumi. In this video, we are going to learn how to find that the pair of curves intersect each other orthogonally. Okay, so the uh, curves are given r to the power n, a to the power n cos n theta and r to the power n equals to b to the power n sin n theta. So, I will write down the curves here. r to the power n is equals to a to the power n cos n theta. r to the power n is equals to b to the power n sin n theta. Okay. So, now we know how to solve this. First, what do we do? We take log on both sides. Take log on both sides. So, log r to the power n is equals to log a to the power n cos n theta. We know that log a into b is nothing but log a plus log b. Correct? And log m to the power n is nothing but n log m. Using this, using these two formula, we will expand this. So, I will write it down for this step. For this step, I will write it down as it is. I will not expand it before expanding this. So, this is in terms of A into B, right? If you consider this as A, this is B. So, log A into B is what? Log A plus log B, correct? So, I will write log A to the power N plus log cos N theta. This expansion is done. What one more expansion is left? log r to the power n. So, log m to the power n, I can write it as n log m. So, here n log r. Expansion is n log r is equals to here as well log a to the power n, I can write it as n log a plus log cos n theta. Expansion is done. I will do it, I will do the same for this curve as well. I will take log on both sides so, this is going to become log r to the power n is equals to log b to the power n sin n theta. Okay. For your understanding again, I will write log a into b is equals to log a plus log b. And log m to the power n is nothing but n log m. Right. So, using these two, I will expand this. So, log r to the power n is equals to log b to the power n plus log sin n theta. Further expansion is going to be n log r is equals to n log b is equals to log sin n theta. Done. Now, after taking log, what do we do? We should differentiate with respect to theta. So, I will differentiate with respect to theta. So, if I differentiate n log r with respect to theta, what happens? What it will become? n into log, I'm sorry, this becomes n into 1 by r dr by d theta. Correct? Which is equals to n log a. This is a constant. So, this becomes 0 plus 1 divided by cos n theta this further uh, differentiated as uh, cos n theta is what? Minus n sin n theta. Correct? Correct? Now, I will write it down n into this. I can write it as cot phi. You know, right? 1 by r dr by d theta is nothing but cot phi. Is equals to minus n sin theta n theta divided by cos n theta. Similarly, I will differentiate this also with respect to theta. So, differentiate with respect to theta. So, it becomes n into 1 by r dr by d theta is equals to this becomes 0. This becomes 0 plus 1 by sin n theta into n cos n theta. Correct? This I can further write it as n into cot phi. Okay. So, here cot phi, cot phi to differentiate phi's. I will write cot phi 1 and cot phi 2 is equals to n cos n theta divided by sin n 
theta. This n and this n will get cancelled. This n and this n will get cancelled. So what I can write it now? Cot phi 1 is nothing but minus sine by cos is tan. So minus tan n theta. Correct? Cot phi 2 is what cos by sine is cot. So cot n theta. Here phi 2 we got it n theta. But here how do we find it? This is minus n theta. So I want to write it in terms of cot. So cot phi 1. This is going to be the negative second quadrant. Right? So second quadrant is cot of phi by 2 plus n theta. Okay? So phi 1 is nothing but phi by 2 plus n theta. So to find the angle of intersection, to find the angle of intersection, what should we do? We should find the modulus of difference of this phi 1 and phi 2. Okay? Now, this can be written as phi by 2 plus n theta phi 1. This is a phi 1 minus phi 2 n theta. Okay? So, plus and minus will get cancelled. Modulus of phi by 2 which is phi by 2 itself. So, uh, difference between phi minus phi 1 minus phi 2 is phi by 2. So, you, you what you can declare it at the end? Thus, thus the curves intersect each other orthogonally. Right? Thank you for watching. If you like this video, do not forget to share it with, with, with your friends. Subscribe it. Like it. And if you, if you have any doubts, any doubts, please comment it down. And I'll make sure that I'll clear all your doubts.